There is a huge debate related to CD transports. By CD transport, we intend a CD that is read and that outputs its digital signal without a conversion, meaning there is an external DAC, a digital to analog conversion. So among a huge part of people who use this gear, audiophiles, music listeners, producers, anyone going around hi-fi, declare that there is no difference between one and the other. It's all the same. It's all digital. No matter what you use, you're going to have the same stuff. Actually, there are also other ones that claim that different players are going to output the same sound no matter what. Today, we are going to try to understand what is true and what is false. Let's get to it. Okay, guys. So this is a difficult type of video. And I will explain why in the end. Because there are some problems in order to properly deliver this type of test. And that is why there aren't that many out there. So is it just a matter of DAX? Because clearly I would say that the majority of people think that the same transport will have, the different transports will have the same result. A, a smaller group claims that any CD player is good, okay, whatsoever. But we'll try to address both of these issues. So, but let's start saying that I have purchased a very humble and simple CD player. Here it is. The majority, which actually is a DVD player, but also a CD player, as you can see. Why? Because I needed a digital output. And cheap CD players now available like that on Amazon or anywhere don't have that. It's very rare. You really have to go up the, 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 the scale and spend a little more. But I wanted to get something very, very cheap. So I, got, I found this baby here. And... Actually, you can see it in all its glory right here. A flimsy piece of plastic that doesn't weigh practically anything. Shockingly, it has also, also HDCD. I don't think you can see it. Maybe you can. I don't know. Trust me. It says HDCD here. Mm. I don't know if it has an HDCD chip. Probably does if it says so. But apart from that, we're interested in normal CD playback. If you're interested in HDCD or you don't know what that is, here is a link. If, you, if you're not seeing anything up here there, all the links are available in the video description, as always. So what did I do? I bought this little baby, which is only 35 euro, meaning 38, 40 dollars, something like that. It goes up and down Amazon. In any case, extremely cheap, okay? But it has a digital output actually via HDMI, which is a very high quality output, not just a normal coaxial. In any case, it's a digital output, okay? And I compared it to my reference, my Aeon 35 Mark II CD player used as a, as a transport. Here is a link to the Aeon CD player, the video I did on the review of it. Now, as you know, I used to have the Holo Audio May Kitsune Tune Edition, which was a fantastic converter. And then I switched to what I think is a superior product, the T plus A DAC 200. Here is a link to the T plus A which now is currently my reference in terms of digital conversion. So I wanted to hook, I did hook both of these, and I played a tune from Patricia Barber. Here it is, her last album. I know I always play this ultimately in the last videos, but this is not being blocked by YouTube, so that's why I'm using it. Plus, it's a very high-quality recording, so great stuff right there. And I used track number two to do this test. Now, when I did this test, I also made some rips. As a transport, 
the first test that we are going to try to uh, assist and understand. And afterwards, as players, meaning I'm going to use the inside converter of this and the Aeon, which is there. It's too big to show. So now we're going to do an, a blind A-B test, okay? I'm going to play my rips which I captured with my Lyra and Prism Lyra 2. Very excellent, high quality analog to digital converter. In order to have the files ready for you, you're gonna find all the files in, in the video description here below. As you're gonna see, the files are 24 bit, 96 uh, kilohertz sampling rate instead of the, the Red Book standard because there are a, these are rips from the analog output so i wanted just to have the maximum possibility of sampling okay i didn't want to risk to down sample something using the same resolution of a cd no so if you have questions on that now you know why okay let's start and afterwards i will reveal which is which and give you my take let's proceed Trouble is a man, a man who loves me no more, no more. Trouble is a man, a man I'll always adore. Nothing good to say. Still I hate a day without him Why should he have to be the one? My only trouble is a man Trouble is a man a man who loves me no more, no more. Trouble is a man, a man I'll always adore. Nothing good to say about him. Still, I hate a day. Why should he have to be the one? My only trouble is a man. Okay, guys, so track A was the ion, track B was the majority. Okay, now. Hold your horses. I want to say immediately that when I do these conversions, these rips, I lose all the nuances. Okay, but don't worry. I'm not. I'm not putting my hands ahead. I'm not. That's that's what you say in Italian. Mettere le mani avanti. I'm not trying to defend to, to prepare the video. Don't worry, because I discover things and then I propose them to you. I put them here on camera, I share them with you, and I'm 100% completely honest. That is my strength, and people who know me knows that I am that, that way, okay? Straightforward. No BS. Okay, so I do have to say, though, that the results are very similar, are homogeneous between them, meaning that some nuances, some subtle differences are just flattened out, and the two files sound the same. And I think you're gonna agree. In fact, I'm sure that the results are gonna be a little bit A, a little bit B, who is claiming that or the other one. But, but, and this is the important point of the video, I must admit that I am shocked, okay? I want to admit this. I was not prepared for these results. I was practically certain 
that the ion would have been clearly the better transport, the better disc spitter. And that is not the case. That is not the case because apart from the rips, which I wanted to do for the video, but I'm, I'm using these. I trust these and I trust my environment. I trust what I put on my speakers when I'm sitting down in my sweet spot. That is what counts in person. And I must admit that in person, the results were practically identical. Now, some people would say, no, you're just saying they're almost identical because you want the ion to be better. No, that is not the case. Trust me, absolutely not. And proof of that is that when I listen to the tracks with my headphones, the rips, those are identical, darn it. Now, I'm sure somebody's going to sense some differences. I do not. Absolutely. They're practically identical. In person, once again, I do sense some differences, but very, very subtle. I was not expecting this. The Ion has a better bass, much more punch, and overall a little more detail, especially in the softer passages. That's it. Then the two are very similar. Now, if you consider, I forgot to say this before, that the Ion in the US retails for 11 thousand dollars we have a big problem here guys a huge problem now i got mine in europe this is an austrian product it cost less plus i had a good discount i paid practically half of that okay but that doesn't matter i mean the retail price price matters and if we're talking about a 35 dollar has practically the same results even the law of diminishing returns doesn't work anymore here. It just doesn't. Since the difference is, is so subtle, so minuscule, really, I, I'm, I'm probably going to sell that and get something else to, just to use it as a transport. Because the DAC does make a difference. In order to support this and actually show you, demonstrate somehow, that we do not have any difference when unfortunately do rips also from the players okay directly from the players you are going to see that once again i want to say this before we do it in my opinion there's practically no difference between them and even between just the normal transport version meaning i'm using the t plus a dac all of them are very very similar and here comes in what I have called, actually Bernie Grudman calls the, the digital disease, where everything sounds the same. In any case, here is the video where we talk about the digital disease. If you're interested, I think it's interesting. Even if you don't agree, I think it's interesting, worthwhile watching. But that doesn't matter. That's a different topic. Let's just go back to this. And really, you guys, I wasn't expecting this low, low difference. I was expecting some differences clearly between the player and transport version at least. But even in that case, we have something very similar from the rips. Clearly, when you listen in person, this may be the majority and the, uh, the CD player on their own, there is a difference. Okay, so apart from that, in order to show you, to let you understand how these rips are not useful, unfortunately, because that's the only way I can communicate with you, actually, to, to show you, to demonstrate some things. And in some cases, this helped. But in this case, gosh, no way. We are also going to try them as players, okay, as normal players. And I can guarantee you that when you use this as a normal player connected to my 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 rig the quality is way way lower than what comes out from the ion okay at least from that if we do though the rips from my lyra i think once again that they are very similar maybe i'm wrong you tell me let's proceed now to this ultimate test let's go
trouble is a man A man who loves me No more, no more Trouble is a man A man I'll always adore Nothing good to say Still I hate a day without him Why should he have to be the one? My only trouble is a man Trouble is a man a man who loves me no more, no more. Trouble is a man, a man I'll always adore. Nothing good to say about him. Still, I hate a day. Why should he have to be the one? My only trouble is a man. Okay, guys. Track A was the majority. And track B was the ion. As I said before, I do not notice that much of a difference. But... In reality, when standing in my sweet spot, at least in this case, there is a difference. From the rips from YouTube, uh, you're probably going to sense something, but not that much. And especially, one could say, considering the difference in price, the difference in price, how can that be? Well, it is actually shocking for me because regardless of, of, of this player version of it, I was expecting, as I said before, a lot of difference between the two transport versions. In person, here, without the rips, my own experience done here for this, for this video, for this channel. Wow, wow, guys. Uh, I have to apologize with a lot of people because I think at this point that I was talking out of a preconception. I want to admit this. And I must admit that there isn't that much of a difference, once again. And the price, the difference in price is not justified because there is a difference, but not enough. Shocking. Okay. Thank you for watching. What else can I say? Remember that, fortunately, music is born analog. Bye. Well, guys, if you're enjoying my videos and you're enjoying my channel, please consider to subscribe by clicking the black and white logo here below. Also, don't forget to click the notification bell so you'll never miss an episode and you will become a true member of the analog community.